Learning to code in 2025 is either the smartest move of your life or the most confusing midlife crisis you'll ever have. You've got 10,000 YouTubers telling you to just start with Python, AI tools writing entire apps, and every bootcamp screaming, job guarantee. So what's the truth? Let's decode it. No hype, no sugarcoating. Learning to code isn't rocket science, but it is a different kind of thinking. It's not just about writing code, it's debugging 90% of the time and understanding why things break. If you can build IKEA furniture without having an existential crisis, you can probably learn to code. But if you're only in it to get rich quick, the error logs will break you before the industry ever does. Everyone starts with YouTube tutorials or free code camp, and that's fine. But by week two, your real enemy becomes tutorial purgatory, the endless cycle of watch, copy, repeat, forget. If you're not building something after a couple of weeks, a calculator, a dumb meme generator, whatever, you're not coding. You're just watching coding happen. Yes, ChatGPT can spit out code now. And yes, that changes everything. But here's the catch. If you don't understand the code it gives you, you're just pasting gibberish into a terminal and praying. AI is like a calculator, useful once you understand the math. But if you skip the learning and let it think for you, you'll build broken apps with confidence. There's no single right way to learn coding in 2025. Some people swear by CS degrees, others crush it through boot camps, and some legends just binge YouTube and get hired anyway. What matters is consistency, portfolio, and proving you can actually build things. Your GitHub says more about you than your resume ever will. Yes, the job market's weird right now. Layoffs, oversaturation, junior dev struggle, all real. But demand for software isn't going away. Companies want coders who can actually solve problems, not just pass leak code. So if you stick with it, build real things and show your work, the jobs will find you, eventually. Learning to code in 2025 isn't dead. It's just different. You're no longer competing with other beginners. You're competing with AI, bootcamp grads, and your own attention span. But if you can stay focused and build cool stuff, this skill is still one of the highest leverage moves you can make. So what's your coding journey been like so far? Share your war stories in the comments. And if you want more brutally honest dev content, subscribe and ring the bell before AI does it for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.